Okay, so we're cruising. We're doing a little surprise visit here um, to American Heritage. And um, I see where we are with the engine. Uh, see where we are. I'm gonna do a little joke here. I'm gonna do a joke. Okay, so they, they, uh, Coley posted this. I'll do my little prank thing. So Coley posted this on their Instagram. Uh, so I'll walk in and go, Hi, I'm, I'm looking for a job. Right, so I'll do a little joke here with them. Um, and, um, Okay, so let's see. Where are we? We're four minutes out here. Um, and let's see the take your next right onto Normandy Avenue. The progress last I checked was the heads were done. We saw the heads. The short block is done. The main cab. There's an issue with the main cab. One of the main cabs was machined wrong. They sent it back. Continue on Normandy Avenue uh, for half a mile. LSR or what is it, concept performance or something? Concept creation. I'm not sure. They they machined it right. Sent it back. The short blocks together, I would think. That was like early last week, I think. So I'm guessing the long block is together and probably ready for dyno. Now they're pretty busy, so they might not be happy with me coming down. Um, but I got nothing to do. I got nothing to do. In okay. a quarter mile, turn right so, on California one south. So, um, uh, let's see. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Take the second right onto California 1 South. And, um, okay, so I think they're right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we don't know if she's just swinging the arms, swinging the arms, or whatever. But that's 1,000 feet. That is Turn an older tactic. Avenue. When people see me, they do that. Okay, so um, just like spinning the keys, uh, spinning things, and spinning keys. Okay, or the three cars together there backwards, right? Okay, so anyways, we're focusing back on the engine here in between the worldwide. Let's try to make Kevin look like he thinks differently than the rest of the world. Um, if I focus on my GPS, okay, that's the wrong street. We want this street. Okay, so take the next left onto Bellport Avenue, then okay, turn now, right onto 259 I'm not to Street. Talk about because it's about making someone look crazy, right? Okay, so we're coming down here. We're checking on the engine. We got nothing to do. What is take today? Take the next right onto 259th Street, then turn left. Okay, we're here. Okay, so today's Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. The something. The like 12th or 11th or I'm not sure. Okay, so... Let's get ready to check out engines, hopefully. Oh, there's Kyle. There's Kyle the Crocodile. Hey. I hear, I hear, I hear you guys are hiring, so I'm here for a job. Jake, I hear you guys are hiring and I'm here for a job, dude. How are you, dude? 
Good. Do I get do I get the job? I'm not the one doing the hiring, so I can't tell you. All right, here's know. okay. So I can mix, dude. I can mix crystal meth like a madman. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, that job's going on all around. I'm pretty sure by the looks. And of it. Li listen, hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay, so we're gonna put the crystal meth in the cylinders, and you put the cylinder head on, and you put the oil pan. I don't think it's gonna work. Dude, I got some buddies in Colombia, and Bro, it's not gonna work. I just heard on the what was it? I was watching something the other day, and they got caught trying to sneak in liquid cocaine. They put. I don't even know what liquid cocaine. What well, they somehow turned it in liquid. Oh, and it was like a and did they extract liquid. it after? They were or? putting it in coconuts, bro, and they still got busted. <laughs> So they got the fucking dogs, you know, oh, like know for all the dogs sniff that shit out. I don't think it would matter, matter if it's, right? they well, they, they train those police dogs for like those drug dogs. No, know, yeah, but, but I would think if you put it, if you even if you liquefy, it's still going to have, the dog's going to pick up the fucking scent. Fucking dogs, man. Just fucking, good. fucking dogs! They're too good for us. Nah, they're yeah. Sweet, they're nice, they're kind, and they can sniff out all the bad shit. Kids, we, I do not, I'm just joking, kids, Surgeon General's warning, I'm just joking here, kids, we do not want you doing chemical, putting chemicals in your body, just weed, just weed, which is now California, legalized. Just the chemicals the government mm. allows to sell to you in your food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just the uh, FDA, uh, put all the shit Don't in there. Don't worry, it's not going to kill you. Yeah, uh... Don't drink that water, it's tap water, guys. <laughs> I know, you know, that's so true though. There's shit so everything, there, yeah, and it's like, and they always focus on the stupid shit, right? Probably in the air that we breathe as well. But that's yeah. politics, you know. I was, <laughs> just, they just want to be boosted on a pedestal, and then they don't care. Like when they're pitching their agendas, they just don't make care. Sure you hold your breath when you take that mask off. You know? Yeah, right. Like when you're at the Super Bowl, <laughs> yeah. the whole length of the game, they're all holding their breath. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. So you're not mad at me? I did, I did a, a unheard of progress hearing here. I'm never mad. All right. I, I just, I don't, Jake's, I don't, Jake's, I still don't have to tell you. Jake's <laughs> opening up. Let's go. Cool. I had nothing to do. I had nothing to fucking do. I'm not trying to press you. I had nothing to do. So I was like, fucking come. Cool. Woke up. Oh, I don't know. You saw the video from last night. You see the video from last night? What video? Oh, I posted YouTube with some dude. Right. Fucking, I was leaving my house and some fucking dude just, so it's weird because I didn't know this. So we have our four way intersection. It's uh, it's you know, it goes in a stop, like stop in sign. Or like in no, no, the, well, right or in front of my on Burbank and shit, Owens Mouth and Burbank. I, I you probably don't know where it is. I know Owens by uh, Warner Center. Center. So you're over by the uh, by the. Uh, you know where the Warner Center yeah, mat is. Really by Warner Center. Yeah, that's the psychos the in the mat. Like yeah. Burbank. That was uh, no. Right by the park. But is, is it past the park or after the park? Going towards it's the freeway. Towards the freeway it's towards the freeway a little. Yeah, it's right. You can look. You can see the freeway. Okay, so it's by the. So there's my house, the and then there's the Woodland Oaks house. Or sorry, I'm in the Woodland Oaks. Then there's the Warner Center Met, and that's like the freeway is almost touching the Warner Center Met. Are you on the south side? Is that south? Shit. So like, if you're I think that's down, the north. If you're coming down, down oh no, wait, if you're coming down to Pangee Canyon, I'm tripping though. If you're coming down to Pangee Canyon, is Burbank right before the freeway? Like how far? Yeah, Burbank yeah. Is? Burbank is like this is Burbank and yeah. this is freeway. They're parallel. Okay. And then I can't picture what this up. way would be. You know the Starbucks on Topanga Ventura. I do. Okay, so they're mad at me in 2001 for fucking buying coffee and sitting down and going, "Your kind can't go here." And they have worldwide groups for 21 years now, throwing mental bad. rocks and trying to get reactions and go, "Look what he did." And, okay, so on the that's on this side of the freeway. Here's the 101. Here's the Warner Center Met. And I'm like touching the Woodland Oaks complex of touching the one. You know, so here's the freeway. Here's Gateway Plaza and Starbucks. Owens Mouth is in between Canoga and, and Topanga. Owens Mouth right. is perpendicular. Oh, perpendicular. Like, so here's the 101. This is parallel to Topanga when you're in Chatsworth, because I grew up in Chatsworth. Oh. Burbank. So this is Burbank, right. parallel. This is what we're going to do. What are we talking about? Burbank and Owens Oh, there you go. Yeah, maps. Just type 21620 Burbank. Map, maps.google.com. Technology. Okay. Over here trying to figure and, out and I'm videoing out. here because so it, it is. It's all and whatever. Yeah. Okay. So you're over here. Yeah. Okay. So this is perfect. So okay. So this this will be the Warner Center Met. This would be my place, and then I think I can't see very well here, but uh, Owens Mouth and Burbank. That's what you're looking at. That's the intersection. 
Oh wow, okay, I don't even know if I've driven on Orange Mountain in this little stretch right here. Yeah, and they get really mad. Like, like I take walks, and, and when I get to the end of the cul-de-sac, there's an Asian girl that comes out trying to, like, get me to talk to her, and then go, she yells at me, like, you're not allowed to talk to people, and I'm calling the police, and it just goes from stranger to stranger, and then all the car okay. mental illness tactics, whatever. Okay, so, so this light went out. Okay. And I didn't know this, but yesterday someone hit a tree. Okay. But I didn't know that. So it's flashing red. Okay. Now I get here last night, uh-huh. and I get to about here, and this car comes flying like oh, at 60 shit. miles per hour. It doesn't stop. And I just fucking go, what the fuck? And I hit the brakes. And they go, he just fucking flies in front of me and fucking oh, skids out and hits the freaking runs into the fucking. Oh, so he did shit. Yeah, he fucking took out the fucking, he took out a tree, a over different here. tree. So he crashed over here. Let's see. Somewhere. He was it, coming you can zoom in on there. Room. There's actually two. And this is where it's trippy. That's why I think it's actually was... I think he was actually aiming for me. But you're not going to... He was already turning. Okay, so the, the yesterday... Curving. Yeah, yesterday a guy hit here. Yeah. Or a couple days ago, whatever it was, I'm not sure. Last night, I make it to about you're, here. And this guy comes... And this guy comes in the right lane. It's interesting. There are two cars together. This guy's going like 60 or something. And I'm. If I wouldn't have hit the brakes, he would have hit me on the side. Dude, you could have been fucked up. And I didn't have my seatbelt on either. And I hit the brakes, and he flies right by the front, and he skids, and he sort of turns, and he skids across here, and he hits about oh, over here. here. He hits, I think, this tree, and there's a power box. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, there was, there's a black VW sort of waiting with his lights on. I, I They work on me all day and night, so I sort of know how to read it like Braille. And there's a I'll say possible guy in a VW. Now, if you know the history between my brother saying that when I was 16, he and his friends launched a VW on a fire hydrant. Oh, there's also a fire hydrant right here. Um, if you know the history between my brother doing these things and then telling the world it was me, and then them all wanted to take revenge, you know what you did. Then you're a schizo. Okay, weird things that don't make any sense with the psychology community. And so it's like this, well, because you did this, we're going to keep doing this to you for the rest of your life, right? And you're like, but what do I do? But we won't tell you. You're crazy. With my brother's threats. Me and my friends are going to force you into a mental institution. Whatever. I won't go too deep. But, so yeah. So I'm just like, so I got DVR video. So if you watch the YouTube, <laughs> I'm just like, you're like do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? It's just. Oh, so they ran the blinking yeah, the but it was scary as they were already. So here's the weird part, though. So there were cones here, like construction cones. And look in the video. I'm going, why are the cones there before the accident? Why is the light blinking before the accident? Like you know what I'm saying? So that I went out. I, I talked this morning. I talked to the construction guys. I'm like, what? What's going on here? And they're like, well, we're putting a new light pole over here. Yeah, but the car hit over there, right? And like. So you're saying two days in a row? Yeah, that's crazy. Right? And I was sort of the target here, you know, whether whether you want to say I'm paranoid or not, like, right? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, so I was like, but yeah, so. It's a nice little area right there. Oh, that's a piece of shit. No, it's nice, <laughs> man. Look at it. I mean, look around Yeah, but the really. people are fucking crap. Well, I mean. It's the valley, man. I grew up in the valley, dude. What do you think I mean, of it? I think the valley's cool still. I think it's changed a lot from when I used to live there. The valley the itself is okay, but the people. Well, you know, I guess I can't compare my life to anyone else's because I got a plan of people going, let's make Kevin look crazy. And, sure. But other than every day I walk out. Do you know how many people I get on video per hour just here alone? I mean, it's worldwide, but I get thousands of people on video per hour. Uh, like four white, four, right now it's like three or four white Teslas here, three white Jeep Cherokees there. They'll do like 50 Honda Civics black around surrounding here. And every day it changes. And then this, the Hondas will disappear and I'll go to like... 20 orange versus or something, right? And then you'll show it to the police and they'll go like, I don't see anything. Like, dude, you're fucking crazy, right? It's like bullshit. And then the verbal harassments and just so 
you know, you're asking me to gauge the people in the valley. It's like to me, they're 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 racist and bigots. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> California's full of a lot of weird people now. But the valley, I don't mind weird. I don't weird. mind weird. I don't mind Andy Warhol. I don't mind artists. I this don't is, mind this is where we always strippers. Go. I don't mind quirky. Like remember the dude in Venice Beach who used to skate with the turban and play Jimi yeah. Hendrix? Okay, yeah. I love that shit. I love it, dude. I love it. I but it. abusive, angry. You're not allowed here anywhere else in the world, and that's different. You know what well, I'm saying? That's, that's happening in a lot of places. Now. Oh come on, not like this. Well, LA, LA is definitely an interesting place. It's changed a lot. I mean, it's always been you know different, but it's changed. Honestly, man, growing up, I grew up in Chatsworth, and Chatsworth was like a small town back in the '80s, bro. Like when I was a no, kid, it was like no. no big. Everyone was cool. Everything was normal. There wasn't a bunch of out of towners. You know what I mean? It was just a, a pretty decent, chill place. And in the 90s, it was pretty much the same the whole time I grew up. And, like, when I go back now, there's all different types of people. And then the thing that's really changed it is, like, the classes of living, right? So now so now you go up, like, so you go, go into Chatsworth now, right? Uh -huh. And Chatsworth used to be pretty fucking normal, right? So I grew up, I grew up literally right, like, there's, uh, like, Chatsworth Park South fun shit, always up in the tunnels, doing stupid stuff like that. But now they put in Porter Ranch. Now we had some rich stuff. So like right here by the reservoir, there was like the summit. You know, these homes were multi-million dollars. Yeah. You had some famous people living up in there. You sure. see ball used to live right up, up in here, yeah. you know, stuff like that, right? Um, but then they put in like Porter Ranch now, right? And the thing that kills me about Porter Ranch is like, Porter Ranch is fucking rich. And it's, it's uh, there's so much of it. I used to off-road up here. This used to be nothing. You know, none of this. Oh, yeah, that was kind of like me and Hidden Hills. I mean, we had all dirt. We hopped on our little... I had an 80cc. It was funny. My father bought me a little Cowie 80cc cool. loud two-stroke. And yeah. I ended up riding my father's 100 four-cylinder, four-cycle, four-stroke four stroke that was quiet. Okay. And then I have a plan of people mad at me like you're doing... And then what's funny is we, I drove around with a little, you know, 14-year-old moto gang, not sure, really, but awesome. kids being like, friend, I had a little 50cc, and the entire planet's mad at me, like, you, you are a horrible kid, and I'm, it's like, I didn't do anything, but what about all my other friends, you're not mad at them, right, okay, so, but, um, okay, but let me rephrase the question about the people, how many places have you gone, whether it's spoken or unspoken, that you're not allowed here, and we're going to mentally batter you out of here you're not allowed here well i don't think i'm i go through that okay i go through that at every single place no, you tell me. in the world okay you're not allowed here but it's not about anything and that's strange and it all has to do with my brother going out in his runs and weird shit like that and then my brother telling the world look what kevin did okay so my brother's doing these things and saying look what and then it's like well you're a schizo well wait now i'm a schizo for finding out what you right okay so the point I'm making here is like you're, we're, we're having an apple orange conversation because I'm fighting off a planet, you need to die versus what people generally are. And I will agree that people are a lot more uptight being, you know, like I grew up with movies like Airplane and Naked Gun and slapstick humor. Yeah. And now people, they can't grasp or what, Monty Python. Yeah. It's the funniest shit, like that you just like relax. And, yeah. and now people are very like, why did a chicken cross the road? Things have changed. Yeah, so you those know, things have changed. I, but I, I prefer to watch the old 80s stuff now. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I was born in 79, so the 80s I was still really young. I didn't grasp what was going on, you know, until the 90s. And the 90s were crazy. 90s was when everything started to, like, get a little more raunchy and, and shift and be a little bit more racy and stuff. And it's, but, like... The 80s now, when I look back at it, I was like, what a fucking awesome time the 70s and 80s must have been. Like, if yeah. you were old enough to enjoy it. Well, I think, yeah, we talked about Teens and 20s kind of thing. The 60s was a party. I, I was too young. I well, wasn't I think even born. 60s, 60s was, was pretty dope, too. Or the fucking hippie era, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, parents. 70s, yeah. disco, and then we hit the 90s and 2000 and 4-2K, which I was sort of like, well, yeah, well what was 4-2K? So, well, then computers were introduced, what, late 90s or yeah. early? Yeah. And then everything just... Yeah. Totally like crazy. And now it goes this rapidly. crazy 
NSA camera and... Yeah, now you can't do shit, man. Everybody knows everything. Remember back in the day, you had no phones. You had no way... Like, you had to go to a pay phone or you had to tell your parents you are going to go somewhere. And, like, for hours, they had to trust you or do what you said because there was no, like, getting in touch, you know? Or, yeah. or you had to be close enough to hear somebody yell or whatever, you It's know? that double-edged sword, and right? it's, like, so different. I look at, like, some of my friends have kids and I look at them, like, how they're growing up and it's just, like... Oh my god. Well, it's scary because he. I feel bad for the parents and I feel in, bad in, for the kids. In 94, my brother latched right on. 94, my brother knew the internet was coming around. He's calling me up in University of Colorado. You gotta see the internet. He's playing both sides of the fans. Check out these iFriends, which is like a first web, like adult webcam type. Okay. And he's like, Kevin's crazy. Look where he's going on the web. So he's sort of. You know, bait you here, go here, look what Kevin's doing. And remember, the internet was originally a government system, right? It went government, college, private. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to be a free. Yeah. yeah. So, so that method, when you're talking about privacy, like for me, do you know how many blogs I collect? There's just one Asian girl, Yuki, in the Warner Center, and she's just like, this guy's crazy, and don't talk to him, and do this and that, and if you see him, call the cops. And I've never met this person. <laughs> like, I don't know who the fuck this person is, right? There's this Asian girl, I don't know if it's the same girl, this Asian girl that takes walks with tattoos and she, when, they know when I'm coming home and she comes out and she takes walks with her dog and she tries to get me to talk to her so she'd be like, you better not talk to me and, and you're crazy and I'm calling the cops and trying to set me up and I just have like weird over and over and over. Going, okay, that's strange. I mean, I understand the, the internet is, but come on, I'm going through. And then I trace this shit all the way down to five years old, like girl after girl. I want to date you, he did this to me, he did that, right? It's just like, and all my friends, like my brother kept in college, hey, Kevin, uh, I want you to meet my friend, Mike Wexler, and he's trying to set me up with the police. And, but it all links back to that statement at 14 or 16, me and my friends are going to put you in a mental institution. And Is your brother still, still around? He's in Florida. Oh, that's right. And then I, I, I probably told you that they threw me in jail because they didn't want me defending myself and saying, look, you know, I don't know what these people's problem are, but this is what they're doing. And um, they throw me in jail. They write up their bullshit charges or reverse the charges. And then with Dincy, which was federally sued. And then um, I get out. I'm looking on the web. I'm typing, like, my brother's name. Just, what's this asshole up to, right? And it's like, Jennifer Pilchick Perlman running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz for Congress in Florida. Yeah. What the fuck? So now we understand the political connections. And Judge Eric Harmon paid off. And the, the kangaroo court, the paid off jurors. And I'm going, like... Oh, and I have screenshots. We need to deem Kevin as crazy. And some of the things I just, like, I figured this one out last week. Like, one of the lies. So I'm smoking weed with my sister in my brother's house, my sister-in-law. And I'm joking, I'm stoned. I said, there's two types of people. Those that should be stoned and those those that, the, those that are stoned and those that should be stoned. Okay. And somehow they managed to, like, get that to the world. Like, Kevin says scary things and he thinks that stoning people to death are... Yeah, dude, I'm going like that with all the weird shit, like court reporter Debbie Woolman buying the property when I moved in 24 years ago. Nobody's ever lived in it, adjoining my wall. Well, Jay Pilchick, Jennifer Pilchick's father, is a court reporter in Florida, and all these things are... So when I go into court, I'm going like, Debbie Woolman, where... Are I? Oh, I don't know, I was just typing in the net, and Debbie Woolman lives adjoining your wall. What? <laughs> right? Like, just the craziest, so there's probably audio surveillance and shit, you know? I mean, just crazy. So... Okay, so whatever. I don't want to go too deep because you'll be like, but <laughs> it is the craziness shit. So my brother is stuck on Kevin needs to be in a mental institution, and that's what's all this worldwide shit. But yeah, so they're all running around like before you ever meet them. He did this, he did that, he raped me, he did this, and you're like, are you gonna tell me what's going on? No, man, I won't. Right? And the man tactics over. And over. But okay, so yeah, so the people, you know. You can't come to me with a good opinion about those people if they're capable of doing that, doing what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> different than the general people. But that's worldwide. I, I just remember I bought my Corvette and I gro drove across the U.S. and got proof. But then there you go, then it's not just here. Well, no, Everywhere but the internet... Has helped it. That's what we're talking about, the internet and the ability... I could build, I could build a system that does what they're doing in my life with my limited programming skills. I could I could easily build it with my Transact SQL programming and .NET programming. I could build it, no problem. But what I couldn't do is be able to walk up to that guy over there and say, hey, that guy's crazy, I want you to use our system. And 
But that started at five years old, so you have to understand the psychotic family and the psychology community and government mental illness watch lists. And, yeah. Okay, so I'll shut up now. But. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so. Sorry you go through that. Yeah, it's fucking sure horrible. There's a way you get away from that. Well, there is, but nobody will, nobody will come forward, so. That, that is a solution. Honesty, truth. But nobody thinks the truth is. I'm not going to drill you on that because we'll get into like a debate or something. What if you, but, did, what if you lived in a different country? You know? Wouldn't help. Oh, no. Uh, I deal with. I, I was hiring programmers for years. Maybe a good. Eight years or something to for my line businesses I was starting up. Russia, Ukraine, um, Philippines, Russia, Ukraine, a lot of India, um, all around the world, and Japan. Even um, every single person knew me, and they were working on the mental illness tactics, and they would do things like sabotage the code, or you know, like like there's here's a, here's a, so I was building. So I built what was it? Tweet Studio. It was called Tweet Studio, and I changed it to like Vibester or something. Vibe Studio or something. But originally it was Tweet Studio, and what it was is it takes you know how Twitter has 140 characters. I don't. I don't really oh, you never use. Okay, so you only type 140 characters, it cuts you off. Okay. Drive you crazy, right? Okay. okay so um, I built an app that goes through the API, so it works with Twitter. Okay. Um, this was before Facebook sort of copied it. Um, and um, what it did is it created like a visual, like a mini Photoshop canvas. And you could either type in text longer. No, you typed in text and it converted the text to an image. Okay. So you could so you make cheat longer. 140 characters. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it took it to the next level. Like you could, like I built a clip art library. You could drag in different things, and like put a little bubble or a happy face and okay. backdrop background and um, and then I was sort of trying to get to the video level like sort of try to figure out how to drag a video window and compile it and okay I didn't get that far but um, okay so and then I said okay I finished or I got the website kind of live now I want to build an app because most people are using Instagram and I was also tying it into Facebook and I wanted to tie it in Instagram um, but I want to do it on an app level because you know those days the app level is booming with Instagram and Okay, so I hired this programmer, and he does like 95% of the code in like three months. And there's some bug fixes, like two weeks of bug fixes. It took me over a year, and I never, I never got it done. It took me over a year and a half going, okay, you know, this guy refuses to finish it. Can I, I need to hire you, you know, for a two week job. Okay, sure, whatever, I'm gonna do this wrong, I can't. Over a year and a half, and it never got finished, okay? Because they were all told to just drive me crazy. And yeah, now you can apply that to about 10 other websites. And my large one, which was the Artist Connection, which was huge, it was like um, OnlyFans, you know, OnlyFans or whatever, is like that on like a million steroids over, okay? You, it was a website designer that technical people could put in Java code and Ajax, or it was built for the I don't know a damn thing, visual interface. It was huge, and tie, sort of trying to tie in the MySpace media libraries and uh, community portals to tie everyone, artists, different artistic groups together and whatever, and huge, yeah, same thing. I mean, it took years and years, okay? I'm hiring like five programmers, and this programmer's like, playing this game like you're cheating on me because you hired that for I mean these shit you never think about, right? You're like this is insane. This is like something out of a <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you so you can't get anything done. And they're all sort of told just make your life Are they the ones stealing your ideas though? Well, but at the same time the ideas are going out, so you start to see Facebook yeah. implement that canvas idea and so they're stealing the how ideas. Long, how are you doing all these things? Like how I think around 2005 to maybe 15. Wow, so yeah, wow. I was, I was, what happened was, so I shut down my business with Mike Huntley and Mike Huntley, 2001, I think around Mike Huntley was, he just snapped. Like he didn't snap. He just did a 180. Like I'm noticing like strippers threatening me, and he, like one Bentley walks up and says, you'll get yours with this angry. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And like, um, I'm noticing random strangers, like at different public places, like barking at me in just weird cryptic or 
angry comments. I'm noticing, uh, I'm tracing back. Wait a minute, when I went to the DMV two years ago, there was a really, it didn't make sense. Okay, right, I'm going, nah, nah, I'm getting paranoid. And then Mike Huntley's now, like, and he notices I'm in the office, I start noticing weird things happening on my computer, okay? So I type Kevin Perlman in Google, and I'm noticing that someone's taking all my things off my computer, and they're building AOL accounts that are similar to my screen name, and they're downloading it off my computer. So better tell me if you mind. Um, okay, so, so like, um, okay, so, and, okay, you know who GoDaddy is? Yes. Okay, so you want a website, and now it's a lot more automated, but you, you, you want a website, yeah, yeah. We'll hey, it it's, you. yeah, it's $10 a month, yeah. and, and they actually now have the web code, and, but the little builders and everything. Okay, back, back then it was very simple. It was, we have the servers, you build your website, you upload the code to the server, you know, we create the account, you upload the code. Same thing, identical, just in a simpler form, because we're coming out of the America Online days and all that. Okay. And um, that's it, so, and it was a lot more expensive. How so, hey, $25 a month, you can have 100 megs of space, whatever, something like that. How did you guys, how did you decide to get into that? Because obviously that was groundbreaking shit at the time. Um, Mike Huntley was more of the IT guy at the time. But you had to go to I was, and learn it, right? Well, I was more of the web design graphics guy. So okay. I had a back, I came out of college with um, a, a double major, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Electronic Media, and a Computer Science. Where'd you go to school? University of Colorado. Oh, shit. Yeah. And that was, I, I got a million stories, that things sure. that happened there, but I didn't know they were happening. Okay, right? started the computer stuff. Yeah, but he was, see, he was here. It, well, it was, I thought, but the problem was it wasn't that simple. He found out I was talking to my friend Daryl Loon, a fellow pool player, about things like my father putting shock collars on his dog Rhoda, and Kevin can't talk. Okay. okay. Now I didn't. It, I get this flack like, "Well, Kevin, you can't say things like that." And it's not like I'm on Fox was your News. Dad involved with the business that you guys are in. No. So they were just. But he wanted me close. You know, your keep your friends you know close, your keep your enemies closer. Did he know your dad, or he just didn't? Yeah, I mean, he knew the family. He wasn't okay. super close, but okay. there's so there were some weird childhood things that my father I wasn't picking up on. That my father was working with Mike Huntley. Does that make sense? Like, like 16. 16 was very weird. Like my father got mad that I got into building cars. Kevin's a danger to himself or others. Um, we got to stop him before he kills someone. Type of thing. Do you understand? So my father was you saying, were 16. 16, yeah, okay. 16 to 18. And my father's working with Mike Huntley, sort of behind the, um, hey, Kevin, you know, Mike Huntley stole Alexander's check for $10,000. I'm like, Mike stole? I don't think so, you know. And then I realized later, what he was doing was trying to see if I had guilt. Does that make sense? That's true. Okay, so that I, I like, learned how my father works. He'll, he'll say that this person did this to see how you react like your facial expression thing. I mean, he did also, he had Victoria Walker uh, buy me for my 30th birthday a toy dart gun, put in like a little surprise box thing out of my 30th birthday where my, at my father's house and I opened the box and I pulled out this toy and it looked real, right? But it was a toy and I didn't know what they were doing at the time and then it all goes back to 16 where my father ends up paying off LAPD to put a bullet hole in his 300E Mercedes and tell the world that I'm a crazy man who tried to kill or scare him and I stole $10,000 to buy the engine at Hawaii Racing, which isn't true. I worked my ass off in this file room, you know, like things like that when I was a kid. And so that's my father, that's my family, right? So, and pure psychotic, like mafia shit, right? That you can't even conceive of. And I'm off of college and I'm talking to you know, my friend in confidence and somehow this information is getting out. This is probably even before the internet. Was your dad involved in, well, how did he make his money? Orthopedic surgeon. Okay, so he's But nuts he's mafia. nuts. Okay. He's like fucking nuts. Like, and I never would have thought, like I always thought, oh my father's a doctor and he went to med school, but he's fucking nuts. Well, smart, some smart people go that route. Yeah, like he hires Lorraine Escobar, not related to Pablo Escobar, but Lorraine Escobar when I was 16, his like Latin office manager, and her job was like follow me around and do all these freaky, you know what I'm saying? Like just, he's not, and he, he has this like phobia, like well, you know, you're my son and they consume me, and it's like you're- Is he still around? I don't know. I think he is. Dad, oh, I just owned him like, like five years ago when after he threw me in jail. I guess, I don't know. Holy shit. Yeah, he is, though, he is because uh, George Escobar f flipped out last week calling my father, which called my mother, because the neighbors 
you still talk we're flipping out, but I'm still talking, right? And so he's on. So he's okay. I talk to my mother and my stepfather on a very. Because okay. when you talk to them, it's this crazy psychoanalytical try to make it look like I think differently. But they're all local, right? They're all. No, my family, they're in Canada. Oh. I, I did so to every, all of them except I sort of keep it. But but you were raised here. I was raised. I was raised in. Uh, I Las grew up in Hills. Hidden Hills. Hills. So your family moved. My mother remarried a Canadian when I was. She met him when I was about maybe 13, 14, oh, okay. and then she married him when I was off at college and moved up there. And you moved in when you were in college. Yeah. So you went to high school in the valley. Calabasas, yeah. Calabasas, no shit. Yeah. Awesome, man. Land of the rich. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and they all thought so I was nuts. Isn't that, was that where Offspring went on and shit too? Who was it? One of my, there was, was one. Wasn't Offspring like the band from right there? Or I can't remember which one it was, but there is a kid in my class that, that one was, of the, right? Inc Incubus? No, I'm not sure. It's the Offspring kid, I thought. One of them, one of those bands, I can't remember. Okay, I might be wrong. Uh, yeah. For some reason I thought they were, but I didn't know. Uh, yeah, Calabasas was not really the valley compared to where I was, but... It is now, like, that I'm so far away. It uh -huh. sounds, like, similar to me. But yeah. It doesn't even matter. It's like, you can't even... This day and age is, like, it college degrees. Matters, so, you know, well, it matters, it, it but I guess... It like, creates who you are in the end, because, you you know, like, I, like I have so many friends that just parents never divorced. Uh -huh. They've lived in the same fucking house forever. You know what I mean? And then they moved out one day, and it's like, they were always here. They always went to the same schools. They never had to change friends. They never had to move. They never had to have all those things. Yeah, that's like, why I moved I out. I went to and forth yeah. all over and so many different fucking schools and groups of friends and being popular here and not being popular there. You know what I mean? And just like yeah, but you know, you get older changes. and it, it's all like yeah, but you. I mean, like you, you become who you are from your experiences. No, yeah, that's what I said. Like I instantly. When I went to college, I was like, I'm fucking getting out of California because I want to, you know, experience more of the world and be stuck in the same... I hear Colorado's awesome. Yeah, but first I went to Southern Oregon State College, and then I, I transferred. Southern Oregon State College? Southern Oregon, okay. Yeah. Oregon's supposed to be pretty It's okay. Cool. I mean, it's cool. It's beautiful. Like, Ashland, Oregon. But it was like a tiny school, city of 5,000, tiny yeah. school. And then, you know, fuck Everybody this. I want to go to something <laughs> yeah. big. And guess what happened? You know what happens in my life? You're hunting your brother oh because my brother you graduated there, that. right? I mean, that's oh the insanity, God. right? The, like, the government actually uses those arguments with everyone that Kevin's crazy and he's stalking or hunting his brother by transferring to the same school or he gets over. So you had only one brother? Yeah, one, one older. Over? I actually have a younger second fr brother from a different... Step brother from a different mother. Stepbrother? Stepbrother, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was only child, but I have a stepsister and a stepbrother. Okay. Yeah, I have all sorts of crazy. My father wanted me to move into his house when he was marrying this Cuban lady. Jen. Just Cuban crazy. Lady. Okay. And then he was sort of framing me with her. Just the weirdest shit. I got so many fucking... <laughs> and she ended up going to jail for three years. Don't you see a little coincidental pattern here? She ended up going to jail with my father's... I mean, she was acting crazy, but I can now see why, dealing with my father. But my father, everyone that's around, my father sends me to jail working with his office manager, Lorena Escobar, she's going to jail. I'm like, Janet, what really happened here? You're talking to my enemy. Well, but I'm watching your office manager and everyone you know doing the same things that you said to her, and I know that they're lying, right? It's like, why did you want me to move, if you were him, why did you want me to move into your house right when you were getting married, coming back from college, and what were you, right? Oh, you're crazy. You think differently. Like, nobody would ever... The craziest shit. The crazy, unheard of. I don't know what to say. Crazy. I can go through thousands and thousands of these fucking freaky stories. Um, the guy's well, it's nuts. It's pretty interesting. I mean, you know. I guess. I mean, Minus the part I have no freedoms and beyond if I have fucking plan. But, who, who does? This? Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I mean, hey, at least you, like, if you look at the bright side of things, I mean, like, you're healthy, you got your house. You're working on toys, right? I a mean, little. I mean, but every time I go work on toys, I have to fight off people trying to provoke me and set me up with the police, I right? Mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> but you're here, but but you're but you're out. You're not. You're not in. Jail. I know, you're but not, I think I think I, really... I think it's about quality of life, or like, look, if if someone were to come come up to me and say hindsight. Kevin, if you, I gave you the choice to have the same life, or you pump gas for the rest of your life. 
But nobody Wait, used to after you. Correct. It's not Coop's trying to make you paranoid or look nobody crazy or set you up. I would, I would fucking pump the gas instantly. Oh okay. You, I mean, there, there's no doubt about it. There, there's... Life is not life is not about uh, tangible things. It's, it's not, about it's friends and family and quality and. If it makes you feel any better, my quality of friends and family has declined over the years, just for the sake, simple fact that I'm busy, and as I get older, I have you know certain differences of opinions with family, even though I love sure. them. Sure. Yeah, you know, I know. I think that's now. it. Gets and tough. Friends but... like you grow apart because they you know you change. You change. You, you, one, you're not available to. You know, hang out all the time and do the stupid shit we used to do, but then too, like we also change. Like, you know, I have good friends that I still love very much, but like they're so different than me. Well, they sure, that's just growing they apart. Don't have the same work ethic. Yeah. They don't have this or they don't have that. Yeah. So like, when we hang out now, it's hard to be like relate to them. Sure. Yeah. Because they live a different lifestyle than I live, and it's like you, you know, in your head you remember things as one way, but then when you're actually there, it's like everything is so different. You can't just. Pull that back. So I mean, like, I understand what you're saying. Sure, but come here. Here, I'll show you. Let me let me put it into a visual for you. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, no, you won't get. You won't get. You won't get it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a visual here. <laughs> okay. I have to deal with this. I have thousands of things like this on video and photos. Okay. Okay. You want to talk about trying to walk out of your house? Okay. This, this is from a black guy ramming my car trying to intimidate me, okay? This is from, I think, last week or two weeks ago. We have a Russian guy poking a hole, carving out the glass, and they're working with the police, okay? Carving out the glass, poking a hole, trying to make these in cat ears and take the little stuffed cat animal off. Uh, he actually did break into the car, too. And the front light was loosened and things like that, like not breaking in it. He, he slim Jim it or something. What's the Golden State Sportsman? That was my father's office, and that's that's when George Escobar started. Kevin's talking, and we gotta put on the pressure, apply the pressure. Uh, what else? What else? Um, okay, we have a, a king here. We have probably a hundred kings. You need to get your <laughs> Oh, is it? Shit. Okay. Keying's here. Keying's here. Oh, that's just a sticker. Um, some of this is and isn't. Like, I don't know if someone was doing something to sort of... Yeah. Um, oh, we have groupings of nails. We have, like, over three or four nails in each tire. How's that fucking possible? Currently? Currently, I gotta get that thing. Okay. Um... We have a guy that kept, every time I go to Bob's Big Boy, yeah. the next following several weeks, a guy comes here and he tries to jam as many things in the window and jam the window <laughs> shut. Okay? Oh my god, dude. I can go, we have my Eclipse bottles were thrown in at Car King, that's why I, we have the, what was it, the Corvette, which John Elway. Yeah. Okay, I have thousands of... Like, I have a folder a million miles. Okay, today I got to document this. Okay, now I want you to try to... And that's that's just the car things. Now I have 100,000. Imagine, so, when you're like... And I'm not trying to, like, like beat you down or... But try to imagine every day you're trying to leave your house. And, oh, hey, today I have to go to the police station because of this. And the police are like, I don't see anything. You got 100,000 police reports. You don't see anything? Right? <laughs> you can't connect the dots here? Okay. Well, you know... Maybe secret hidden messes. Well, you know, you ratted out your father to Daryl Loon 30 years ago about shock, putting a shock collar on the dog. But how do you have the fucking information? It's a it's a one-to-one -one private conversation with me and a pool player, buddy, before the internet even existed, right? Okay, so it's like weird shit that doesn't make sense. And it just keeps switching and changing. Like, um, well, you know, people don't like you getting proof of them hunting you to kill you. So, you know, you can't go to public places. <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, I mean, these are unheard of situations. And normally, you'd be like, dude, leave the fucking guy alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave the fucking guy alone. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> He's allowed to go. I had a cop. I'm not sure he was threatening me the other night. He walked up. I was buying a cup of coffee. He said, it's that time, huh? Like, kind of like, so now you're back to, I'm not allowed to drink. My kind's not allowed to drink coffee, you know? And it looks like I might have someone. Okay. I might have to. Yeah, I'm taking. I, I'll, cool. I'll talk. I just, I, I, I'll tell you what. If you want to um, check the engine. No, let me see if. Um, uh, oh my God! He comes out. I know. How are you, man? Good. You. Good to see you. So, 
I, I did a, a sneak okay. progress hey, I'm taking, hearing. I'm taking, uh, it looks like Cole, you got to yeah, Derek, yeah. Oh. Come with me. No worries. Wait, but what's, what's the engine? What's the engine? Where are we? I'll show you. Okay, cool. So your block is, I think, the last one back there. Okay. And basically the heads would be on it already. Uh -huh. But because it's an LSR block, the lifter trays are different and the bolts are different. So we order the bolts oh. and just waiting for them to come in. Okay. So essentially we can't put the heads on until we have those. Am I right, Kyle? Yep. Saying this that's right. Cool. Okay. But that's it. I mean, uh, at least you get to see the, I mean, what is that considered? A short block then right there? That's a short block, short yeah. Block. yeah. Okay. Look at those badass heads. Oh. Pretty little go business. Go oh, business. And the heads, I know you already have seen the heads. Yeah, I've seen the heads. I want to see bolts. it on the dyno. Yeah, it'll be there soon. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly when. Coley would know better than me, but I mean, it should be soon, so. I don't even know what I'm looking at, to be honest with you, but. So those are the trays that are in there already, right? Yeah, they're in there. That's interesting. So are they like individual <laughs> trays for two two lifters? Each one is like two lifters? Right. Oh shit, so it's so different. The, the lifters are in, right? So lifter, yeah, I can see the bottom of the cups. Yeah, they are. So the lifters, the, the trays, they're like, they look different than the average. So we're just waiting on the bolts to bolt the trays in. Cool. And then once those bolts are in, then we can put the, the heads on. And then I think uh, it's essentially should be ready for the dyno, I believe, right? Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the single well, dyno without a uh, without a uh, naturally aspirated? I don't know. I don't know if any of us know. Should have a call. Maybe like six hundred. You think? Okay. It's a uh, because it's a really low compression because we want to build. Oh yeah. What what were you gonna dial in? Uh, Chloe was saying you're deciding on the. Um, the gasket size, what do you think the compression is going to be? Uh, we went with a 40 thou gasket, and he has the paperwork on what the compression funnel is. I think it was like 10.2 or something like that. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's really low for you know a naturally aspirated build. For and it's going to be a but flex once you, fuel. But once you put yeah, boost to it. The and, red yeah. <laughs> what the wind? Well, 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 I remember in my, like when I was a kid, they were talking about eight to one, but you know, times have changed. So, you know, eight to one with a supercharger. But I, the word on the street is these LSR blocks are eight to ten months out right now. No shit. Yeah. So you should feel pretty fucking. Yeah, special. because I, I was lucky enough right to. Yeah, man. I figured it was are fucked up. Still fucked up. Things are fucked up yeah. right now, and I think they're only going to get worse. Um, so. You know, not many people are going to be running around saying they have stuff like what you have right now. It's going to take them, like, they have the, all the money in the world, it doesn't change. Sure, that. yeah, they you got to wait it. forever. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, I mean, that's why we're even, like, even the little things, like these fucking bolts. I mean, it's like, there's always something that is kind of, like, you know, you get to as you cross the road, I <laughs> you'd say. But, yeah, very close. Um, it's just a matter of bolts and putting it together. So, yeah, so Everything when you think, here, uh... Um, what, drop in? You have no clue. Or... I have no idea what to tell you. I would, say, right. I would say, oh, the actual drop in. Yeah. But you know what? Um, I don't know. Things kind of got mucked up a little bit with the the delaying of the cap. Yeah, that you changed see, everything. Right now, right now, just so you know, and not, this is no excuses. As you can see, we only have one technician, Matt. We used to have. Oh yeah, because yeah, I saw the job. Yeah. Oh really? You just yeah, you let one go. He, he, well, we had to. It was unexpected. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, well, I, I don't want to share too much, but long story short, he did something that was not supposed to do. Oh, that's we had to, we had to, we had to let him go. That's nice. And so it does suck because we went from the holidays where it was slow and we would take whatever fucking job came across our path to like right now I'm booked through May. Like so, I like the the problem right now is with only one guy. It's how to get all this shit done. And so yeah, that's a lot of shit. You gotta go. We had you scheduled to be dropped in third, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, or yeah, something. and then because of the cap, you know, that fucked us up, and so we had to remove your name from the board, and now I have to find a way to get it back in there, and so I I need Chloe's help because we have to override people. 
you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. We have, to, we have to tell somebody who we've already made a plan with. Sure, it's a priority it's thing. Yeah. And then the thing is, is it's not just one person. If I put you in this person's spot, it fucks them all up. Sure, it's yeah. It's that tight right now. So I, I, that's why I don't want to say anything because I don't know. We may find that there's okay. a hole and we can slip you in as soon as it's off the diamond. Okay, but there really, I mean, honestly, look like sort of end of March or something. It's not going to be by your birthday, I can tell you that much. What? It's not going to be by your birthday four days. No, later, the hell I can no, tell you yeah. that much. It's not that I care, I was just joking with you guys. I, I thought. Well, I guess the main thing is get the bolts, put the heads on, then when is it going to get dyno? And then after it's dyno and broken in and we know that that's right, then I think we're bolting the Whipple on. We put the Whipple on before it goes in the car probably, right? Yeah, that would be, I would imagine. Right? Yeah, be a okay, nightmare. So that way. Yeah. So we'll end up. Then we got to bolt that on. which shouldn't be more than a. Day, oh, that's I'm pretty easy, right? No, just... And then putting it in the car. I mean, the the good thing about your work is that I think we're just putting the engine in, right? Like some of the yeah. cars that we have here, like engines, trans, where it's like a million things, right? Well, the trans kind of hanging loose, well, but it's I mean, you're bolting the edge of the trans it's and popping like it. We're having to overhaul any of that. No, no. I think we're just dropping your engine. Yeah. Right, so. Okay, so I mean that's that's just make sure there's no old shit in the radiator line. No, they don't fuck around with anything. <laughs> We're not gonna waste, you know, you know, yeah. doing all this for something as shitty as that. Um, but I mean, there's just not like it, it, if we had the other guy, dude. I think the in, in, install portion is like a week, if not less. Like could be three days, even, which is killer. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. I would say after it's engine dyno and we know you're for sure going in, I'd say it just has to be a week. Okay. To get it, like, the car's going to be done. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty exciting. Huh. Um, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Well, I that. figure you see these things all day, like, you just be, oh, another engine. But... No, yours is, yours is kind of special. It's LSR, it's Whipple, it's special pistons. I mean, it's... You know, we do a lot of the NA stuff, like you said, a lot of high compression. Oh, that reminds me, I noticed on your website, did you guys, you guys were, were you switching over to your piston company because CPR a, couldn't we produce? everybody. So we use CP, we use JE sometimes, but the thing is, they're all, like, nothing available. So yeah, we were using Race Tech, which I don't know if we have anything with out here right now. Or not. Oh, okay. What do you think? What's your opinion? Well, they're they're. I mean, compared to. So the the race tech, the owner of race tech, is the guy that started JE. Uh huh. He is the man that was JE. Do you think he sold it because he was like sick of the whole? I guess the way the business was. Really? Yeah, and then after a while of being out of the game, he decided he wanted to get back into it. So he's a smaller outfit, I think, in Huntington Beach area, something like Newport, Huntington, something like that. And he's, he's so it's the same man that's behind J.E. J. It's him. Oh, okay. Um, you so. know, and then the cool thing about them is they're small enough. Did it fuck anything up if I touch one? No. The cool thing about them is that they're small enough that they can do this for us. Oh, yeah, a little. We got our logo. Okay. And oh, wait, wait. Yeah, it's on Did your logo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, then, though? Yeah, and, then they, and then they even <laughs> stamp it on here. American but you'll never see it. Well, but well I guess you see just, it if you order them well, from you. Yeah. Part of our, it's just part of okay. our thing. We're trying to brand the company and have sure, yeah. No, I get it. You yeah. Know, we, we, we're making this for us. So you know, it's not an office. So uh, here's a question: this. When, when production increases, from like C, was it CPR or CP? CP. Well, right will now, you go back to CP or will not, you stick? It, I, 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 I don't think it's a matter of. I think it's a matter of. You know, whatever we choose for the build, but again, CP's business model has changed. Where they used to have things on the shelf, or we're able to get them to you in a timely manner. I mean, where do they know? Like, everything's to order. Yeah, and it's yeah. like eight to twelve weeks. And basically, what they're admitting to us is we don't even start a production run until we get X amount of orders, until it's worth it to them. So basically, they changed people in the business side. You know, a lot of companies do well when you have people that are willing to like stretch and bend the rules and get shit done. And now they're running it more like a business model. Like we're not going to produce until we have this many orders or this much money. Sure, yeah. Da, 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 da. And then we're having material shortages and they're having staffing issues. So you combine the new business model with material shortages and staffing issues, you're not even guaranteed your eight to twelve weeks. And like again, LSR eight, eight to ten months. Yes. And you know, from what I understand, it's because they don't have people, machinists. They don't have the people to do the work. You know, I don't understand. Everyone's 
back out leaving, they're going out to the jobs. I think we're entering a, an, an era where like the old school dudes that knew how to do this craft uh -huh. were retiring. They're what? They were retiring. You think? And the kids were all pushed to go push buttons and do college shit. You know, and we've outsourced so much stuff that we don't have the crafts for much. Like no, but what, what's the only thing that's changed have, is the... Dude, the only machine is left are all in like fucking aerospace. It's like the majority of them are going into that. that you think like they're all going to CAD? I and don't think there's as much money in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the car world, you know, and all that as there is. Oh, yeah, but you're talking a two year, right? You're talking Corona hits because everything's going, moving, and Corona hits and everything slows based on import, export. And there's just a lot of things. I, I, think, I, think, yeah, I think it'll bounce That's back. Well, it's an LT4. Wow, the fucking, the, uh, the walls look so thick. What does this mean? It looks like such a big, like, missing piece. It's just because the sleeve, you don't see the sleeve. Okay. So that's factory? This is all factory? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, let's get out of Kyle's way yeah. so he can continue. We gotta, we gotta get Kyle to loosen up. Kyle's always so tense. Why are you so tense when I'm around? Because <laughs> he was computing and we just... <laughs> He's computing. <laughs> He's got ones and zeros. This is for sure. Um, I was joking with um, I don't know if you saw my my uh, my Instagram post. I was I was to uh, Coley. I said this gives me a hard on or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put it the other way around. Yeah. So you'll be on here. You know, sooner or later. At this point. I mean, we're definitely getting there, dude. It just you know, how can I say this? Everything seems to take longer than would seem to on paper, you know? Like, yeah, I know. I know. It's like, I, I sometimes I get, you know, we, we're doing a time study right now on our cylinder head processing uh -huh. because we just had a major influx. We have super amount of orders all of a sudden. And <clears throat> I'm like, how come we can't just get like this and this much out per day? Like, how come I don't see like the finished good? You know, every, and it turns out like there's 17 steps that go into processing a set of cylinder heads and I calculated the fucking math on them, mm -hmm. right? Like a rough math. This is no bullshit. It's like 20 hours to process one set of heads worth of work. 20 hours worth of work. When you say process, you're like machining and... Yes, everything. And I'm like, that's a that shit. That sounds like too long. That's a long. shit, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. if you charge an hourly, hourly rate to like rework heads, uh -huh. they would be a fortune. Yeah. You know, so I, to me... But what is, I mean, is there delivery? I mean, that seems like no, a lot of time. No, that, that's you actual... Gotta you got to take them apart. you got to fucking clean them. I mean, come on. No. Nope. Let me show you something. <laughs> this is just a rough... This is just so you don't think I'm full of shit. <laughs> but there's more, more than meets, meets the eye on this stuff. And in the control booth, I'm sure you saw this too. Let's go. Cool. sit in here and we'll go run the video. Super pro. And, um, you know, you can see it all, like, in real time on the camera. Uh, it's pretty cool to say that, you know, at one time, this was the very first roll-up door bay where Coley was doing work on his back for uh -huh. two years, 12 years ago. This was not here. This room wasn't here. The dino, none of this shit was here. That fan, that was the roll-up door. That area was a roll-up door. The, the only shop Coley had was one bay. Okay. And, you know, it ended it like this, this little, I think there's even a mark for So how did door. this... This, I mean, you added on here? Or? He blew the wall out. Oh, and really? added another one, and then he ended up blowing another wall out and adding another door. So, I mean, if you think about his humble beginnings, it's actually, you know, it's actually cool. And I wasn't here for all that. You know, I was here, it was already these three bays. But I was here when we had another rack right here. This, none of this walls, none of this hallway, none of that shit was there. Cody's office was, the door was, was, was right there. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. We had the assembly table in the back back there. There was a car right here, a car here, and then those racks. So, I mean, it's totally, it's totally changed. No, when I first started working here, this car was uh -huh. sitting right here on the well, floor. Well, technically, it's been here for a while, too. <laughs> so, just, just to show you what I'm talking about, because I'm not kidding. So, we have different stages of heads, right? Okay. The minimum amount of time it takes to do a set of heads is 17.75 hours. This is the labor, not the moving it around from departments. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's not always going to just be like, 
Yeah, because mm -hmm. you guys have sent it out as a machine shop, well, right? Well, or well, no, we do all the machining oh, here, okay. minus the CNC. But everything else is done here. But I mean, still, you can't just go through all these processes. Provided it, no, that's going I'm on. Sure uh, oh. details, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, Kevin, delete this part. <laughs> but, just, but no, seriously, that's crazy shit, right? And we're doing it actually quicker than a lot of big ones. Are you? Yeah, I've got I've got dealers of ours and, and friends in the business that are quoting people a year plus on engine builds. Oh shit! And it's because they can't get their shit done. Yeah. You know, and we have such a high high standard that like if something is not right, like like straight up like like Holy saying, most people like balance the blueprint and engine. It should still run fine. But, should. But. But today's standards but, do things right. That's fine. But you want it. That's why we're having Top notch. For us. That's why we're having rods for us. That's why we went to race and had to make those pistons for us. Because some of the shit you're buying over the counter ends up having needing all this extra work uh -huh. to make it good. You know, shit, we had a, um, you know, we have people, like, we have to test all the springs because, you know, I'll order a set of springs from a vendor and they're all, you know, whatever the springs are supposed to be, right? Most people would order that and install it and go. They're on their way, right? Like, yeah. okay, this is what yeah. they, they sent me. I mean, that's what you I do with the kid. catastrophic failure with a bad spring. Sure. But you, you, the guy's got, the customer's got 20 grand in this build that could be relying on a $300 set of springs. Sure, but like when I was a kid, we would be like, okay, well, I'll buy a 350 Chevy, Chevy and I'll buy a rebuild kit and the rebuild kit's like 50 bucks and buy some forge piston that's like 150 bucks. It was all cheap. You know what I'm saying? It was all cheap. Now, a big difference. Yeah. you're spending a <laughs> on your car yeah you know so if it goes wrong and plus then you're waiting forever and you're down time well, i mean it's yeah. just a nightmare so like i said we test the springs most people don't have a spring tester and we're finding hey this spring was bad in this kit matter of fact look at this right here this we bought i don't know if you want to record this but we bought these from texas speed well-known reputable company mm -hmm. they got this fucking yeah. shop got their own machines do all this crap you know blah 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 so we ordered a set of 1209 valve springs mm -hmm. right this set has one 1207 mixed in a set of 1209s. They look fucking identical. Nobody would know. But they're totally different spring pressures. Oh, so shit. if you require 1209s uh -huh. and one of them is a 1207, you're going to coil and you're going to fuck up on that one valve. Yeah. It's going to smash itself to death and you're going to have a fucking problem. And our guys caught that. Why? Because we do every little thing that most people are like, how come it takes so long? Well, because we're taking extra measures. Yeah. So, and that's what I was telling like Holly, you guys like, you know what, don't rush it, just do it. Do it. Hey, hey, <laughs> Even though I asked date, don't. good. That's yeah, why, okay. I mean. Even I asked dates, but don't, don't that's why sometimes rush I it because. I used to get so frustrated when I first started here because I don't understand anything. And like, you know, if you told me five days, so I told the customer five days and now it's 10 and I'm wondering why on the fifth day we're not have a product and I was told, well, this thing didn't work out. And I'm like, well, how come this isn't like foreseen? Or, you know, and sometimes you it's, you just can't, you know, and so now I'm starting to realize, you know, now I'm starting to get better at it where it doesn't affect me as much because I already realized that there could be variables. For me now, it's how I talk to the customer. It's like, instead of just saying five days, it's like, well, the estimated, you know, the anticipated thing is five days. You know, there are still variables that could come into play. So I can't promise this to you, you know, and sure, then, yeah. then I don't have a guy who's mad and he's like, you told me so. Uh, yeah. Because I can be like that sometimes, you know, like I'm sure everyone, uh, you know, so, I yeah. go off what you tell me, you know what I mean? So like, you know, now I'm a little more lenient in some of my other things that I got going on because I understand how it goes here. But I mean, if you're off a couple of days, that's one thing. If you're off by months or a fucking year, then there's a fucking problem with you still. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you it suck. was like the, um, <laughs> my Eclipse and JoJo's and they couldn't come up with like real reasonings. And I think if you can, if you can, can explain it, yeah. but they were more like, oh, it'll be done tomorrow, come by, you come by, and like, why are you here? And like, That's a problem. Yeah, and they're, they're sort of setting you up. But it was like, okay, dude, like, like you've had the parts for five months. Like we, in the beginning, it was like, we don't yeah. have parts. You've they're had the parts for the five corner. months, <laughs> we, got a, we got a customer. Okay, but I'm a customer. You know, like, yeah, like what, what, what can you have, like, can you give me a valid excuse? Of the, yeah, just, tell me what's really good. Right, and they couldn't. And I they, know you just tell me it's going to be another year and fuck off, but at least you're being honest. Well, and but I, keep, like, I, it, needs to be, it needs to be real, like, rational. Like, it's going to be a year because, you know, like you say the LSR blocks can be six, eight months. And they said, well, are you this way with, with your Corvette guy? And they said, well, it's a different dynamic. And the dynamic was... Okay, I had to order an LSR block at two months. I had to order, what was it, something took the pistons, three months, okay? And 
it's not about oh we don't feel like getting to you yet asshole you know like yeah. like it's like well you can't yeah you can't right i mean physically there's physics yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy yeah, so, um... At least, at least, you know, you're gonna get something really great in the end. It'll make it, make you feel even more worth it. Well, you, you know, know me, I'll, I always like the better and, it'll be you know, but... You know, it'll, it'll be sick, dude. Like, it'll be fucking special. People will love it. I don't know. You I mean, to me, it. I see the People same thing. It. Like, I go to the car meets, I see, you know, a guy pulls you in a 1,200 scared. horsepower. Be you better do something with those tires. Oh! You can't just fuck around, man. Like it's gonna be oh, like, we, we just, obviously, we're, we're, especially we got, with the torque curve. We got one coming to life right now that's been here way longer than yours, and it's, a, it's like a thousand horsepower build. Okay. F20 Pro Charge, uh -huh. 442, and he's still on stock tires, and it's like, dude, this thing's gonna. I told it's him, just like, squirrely like, everywhere. Like, go to the R Triple Eight R's for your stock. Are those tire like the Toyos? Size. What are the? I think they're a Toyo. There are triple eight R's. That's your your first step. Mm -hmm. If you want to really go start smashing it and you know, drag race guy, then you're gonna need well, to like some weld wheels and some slits. Oh, that's a whole other story. That's yeah. a whole other story. Yeah. But I'm like, this guy's talking crazy, and I'm like, he's going to take his track, and I'm, I'm like, dude, you're gonna make one run, and they're gonna tell you to cage the motorcycle. You ready to do that? Do you want that? Is that the kind of car you wanted? You know what I mean? Like, or I thought you were just gonna fuck around with this thing on the street. Well, you know how it starts, starts one way and ends up. Yeah, but I'm like, you're gonna, you know, you're bitching about this price, and now you're talking yeah. about wanting to, you know, you're gonna have a lot more into it here in no time. So, so anyway, yeah, so it's at the diner now. We're waiting to hopefully get the fucking numbers back here shortly. Through uh, church? church. Um, what do you think? You think he's gonna go drag, or you think he's gonna just a streeter? He's or? A street guy, but he wants to take it to the truck to see what it can do. And I swear, when you take it to a track, if, if it's you know anywhere. Well, if it's not gonna hook up, it's not gonna get good times. No, I mean. but it's also like when they start seeing how the thing runs. I think you can only run a certain time before you need a helmet, be a cage. Well, I think it's by time, like a, a past 14 time. seconds, I think, is a helmet. And then, then pass whatever else. Is, yeah. Is a okay. Cage. So if he's fucking and not just squirrely a, everywhere. Not just somebody put one in like a real certified, you know, yeah. deal. And so I'm like. You're talking crazy, bro. Like, that's what you really want to do. Like, I don't think, think that's good. I mean, for a guy who lives in the Philippines and is going to store the car in New York and come drive. What? <laughs> There's no time. way. Oh, give, give yeah. me a break. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, just just enjoy. It. No, you got you got. If you're going to take the track, you got to be ready like, for maintenance. Like, and yeah, and then he's like, oh, I think I need cats on it now. I don't know if I can handle the catless because of the emissions in New York. And I'm like, you built a thousand horsepower car, <laughs> and now you're worried about cats. That's like, weird, uh, yeah. Like you were fucking tripping. Like, but anyway, so... Yeah, I don't know. You know, I kind of, part of me wants to take it to the track, but part of me is, I don't know. I mean... You're only going to get so much before they tell you to go... Well, I don't mind. I was actually, remember, I was looking at the roll cage for, just for the street, but... The problem was the fucking seat position. Oh, okay. um, totally, totally and it's convertible, so you take the fucking track, oh, gosh, you need a cage. I mean, yeah. they might let you take a first run and go, okay, you need a cage. But I, but I also get a kick, you know, I get a kick out telling you about the 3D printing and all that shit I'm doing. Oh, yeah. So I, like, I'm gonna yeah, modify the hood I want. And, yeah, so, you know, well, I'll just play it out, see how it plays out. It's my snap time. Uh, I'm gonna go yeah. Oh, I thought you said that. No snap. Oh, it would be nice to buy like a old fucking like non smog fucking pro streeter fucking just take that to the truck, you know? Well, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I mean, you can have, have a toy for every occasion, you know what I mean? You know, you just have a fucking all steam tube chassis and fucking tub. Fucking. It's like the guy across the street has that big ass building that looks like on the end of the street or whatever. Uh huh. And he's, um, I don't know, he's rich and he. Fucking has over. I for the first time went over there today to help our neighbor uh, pull a fiberglass mold out. Okay. I'd never been in there, but I'd seen his cars come in and out once in a while. It's like his storage. Okay. And he has all the coolest like classic cars you'd ever imagine. Like, we're ta I'm talking like wheelies and shit, and things that are like era correct with the flame paint. You know the right tires, the right wheels, blowers coming out of the hood, like just fucking cool shit. And then just, you know, it's like, man, he has like something for everything. He's got the long, whatever, 60s Cadillacs or whatever they are, you know, that's just like a boat, you know, for when you want to cruise. And he has the hot rod. And, I mean, he even has some crazy, like, truck that I don't, I don't even know what the fuck it is. It looks like a, like a classic semi, but it's all like, I don't know, it's just all bitching. Everything over there is bitching. I don't know shit about classic cars, but 
Oh, I mean, they're pretty simple. I mean, you got no computers, you got no, I mean, it's just, boom. Even Block pistons, Why maybe injectors or, 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 or uh, intake manifold and car. I mean, it's pretty simple, yeah. <laughs> Some headers and some exhaust pipes. Maybe some police and some camp carriers and shit over there. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite there. cars. There's a Vega sitting over there. It's all beat up now. There's a Vega with a fiberglass body, full braced out. You know, tubs, fucking. I'm just like, oh, dude, a Vega. Like, that thing is like, it looks like a Civic. You know what I mean? Yeah. All muscle. No, I knew a dude that built a Pro Street Vega when I was a kid, yeah. Something that simplicity, you know. And you just fucking trailer it to the fucking track. Beat on it. And fucking take boom, it take it off, and you know, it's simple. You don't have to worry about anything. You'll have a cool car, dude. Yeah. No, I, I know it'll be cool. It's just. I don't want to make it cool. I want to do the wide body shit. I want to do all that. You know, I'm fucking money, dude. Money, fucking. And the production. Like, I'm noticing, like, the, the kit, the, the wide body kit, like, they're not producing carbon fiber panels right now, like they're running short because they're not manufacturing. I'm fucking just saying it's a shit. Everything's gone through the roof price wise, too, man. I know. So. But. So, what do you do for the rest of the day? Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing a couple of, like, I'm, I'm probably going to Long Beach or whatever and. Get the flag. You're stalking this, and oh my god, the fucking stupidity of these people. But uh, and I play into it because they're so like I don't know if you. I did a video. Um, whatever. I'm just gonna name it. I'm sick of these people just shitting on me. But again, like, like Alexis Moore's like blasting me. She's like, you're a fucking creep, and you're this, and you're a stalker, and you're a stalker, and this and that. And they're hinting about these stupid things. First, they're playing off the movie um, Vanilla Sky that. A girl in my father's office, Adrian. My father wanted me to date this girl, Adrian Olivares, which was a fucking complete nut. And then, then before that was a girl named Skyler that was sent out for me from Florida to University of Colorado. And her whole game was the victim game. They all play the same game. It's weird. Since five years old, and they go, "Oh, poor me. Kevin's making me chase him. Kevin's, Kevin's treating me like shit. Kevin's this." They just, they just veer my way, and they want something from me, and then they. I realize they're abusive and I go, I start walking away and I look what Kevin did to me. And then we're a wide groups, so you're a womanizer and you hate women. And dude, why, how is this the world's business? I'm a nobody and how is this the world's business? And if some girl's veering from my brother in Florida towards me in Colorado and it all ends, I mean, there's, there was a whole, without going too deep, I fly out to, I finally meet her in person. I fly out to fucking Florida uh, she picks me up. She gives me a fucking blowjob. She says, I gotta go. I go, oh, I wish we had more time. And she says, sure you do. Like, angry at me. Like, dude, I'm just, this is like my first time meeting you. And, like, in person, off talking on, on the internet. And then it's, they do the thing, which I wasn't picking up on. But then, oh, I gotta go to the airport. And the cop pulls her over. It's all staged to try to flip me out somehow about things from, they're accusing me of my past, right? And this is a common type of thing. And then... Maybe a month goes by and she contacts me and she's like, kind of abusive or, I think she said I want to come out to California. I was kind of focused on my business and not responsive. And then she says, if you want to be my friend, Kevin, I'm going to treat you like shit. And I'm like, you know what? I was like, fucking don't call me. Don't fucking message me. Don't talk to me. You know, get lost. Right? Oh, look what Kevin did to me. And that was Stephanie Schuyler. Now there was a stripper sent after me, a Latin one, a little later called herself Stephania doing the like, same types of, right, this weirdest shit. And there's a worldwide campaign, like, look what you do to these women. I'm just walking away from abusive people. Why are you mad at me? And how do you have the information? And so she's blasting me, like, you're a stalker, you're a stalker, like, I'm doing these. And it all comes from the movie Vanilla Sky, that after Adriana Olivares didn't get her way with my father's office, was a nut. Showing me the movie Vanilla Sky, which I don't know if you've seen with Tom Cruise. And um, so she's playing these mind games, like, I want you to follow me to my events. Hint, hint. You didn't do what I wanted you to do. You're a stalker, you're a stalker. And then it links to sort of the Long Beach with yours on Beltrans and the, the bench with the plaque. It's a long story. And. I guess Alexis Moore lives probably somewhere in Redondo and you're in this area and instantly I drop the car off here and 
Kevin stalking us. Uh, supposedly she like committed suicide years ago or something, but there's a bench with a plaque. And so what, so after years of abuse, like you won't leave us alone. I'm like, first of all, how am I stalking a dead person who's actually putting hidden messages and everything to try to make me look crazy that I didn't even know what was going on. And then Alexis Moore is playing the same game for 25 years. And it gets really deep with that. And then it's, so like last week I go down and say, okay, you know, I'm going to talk about the situation and I'm going to fucking dry hump this fucking bench in Long Beach, right? And everyone, I'm proof appointed, everyone's going to have a fucking cow because I'm dry humping a fucking bench because nobody would fucking care or straddle it, not really dry hump, just sit on top and go for 10 seconds and go, you think anyone would fucking care? Like if you went out to Long Beach and sat on a bench, whatever, in that area where that person used to live. Do you think anyone would care? No. They'd be like, oh, some guy's sitting on a bench. Yeah. Okay. Well, if Kevin goes down there, it's worldwide. Okay, so I'm probably going out those directions. I'll probably go to Torrance and get some fresh air and get the flack from the entire city coming out in clothing pattern colors angry at me with some of those death threats, like, no relaxing for you, nigger, and things like that. Okay, so, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so sorry if I get a little, but that's, that's what my life is, right? Just pure craziness, and everyone has these crazy arguments that don't make any sense, and it's worldwide, right? It's like, so I go out and I do these videos, like, making a joke out of it, but they don't get the point, like, like, let it go, like, just act like normal people. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just crazy. It's know. like, but but they do it, you know, they do it in every place. They don't just yeah. do it in those. If I, I could fly right now, I could drive to Vegas. Some random girls, they come stalking me and I could, I could fly out to Wisconsin right now. Same thing. Same thing. It wouldn't matter. It's happened since five years old, right? Just the craziest shit, right? Just start wearing disguise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I used to play the, the, I don't know if you saw the Saturday Night Live with Eddie Murphy and he's like, um, we're gonna prove, what was it? We're gonna prove that white men have a, a secret life when black people aren't around. And he goes in a makeup studio and they put, they make him look like a white guy. And he starts walking into businesses and like, you know, like walks into like a barber shop or something and they're like, oh, and the black guy gets up and he walks out and they like, shh, and they like lock the door and they're like, I'll start partying and like, oh. <laughs> right? Like just, I mean, but no, but no, I mean, this is shit so stupid. It's like, you know, you're just like, dude, it's like, why are they so angry? But, um, so yeah, I'll, oh, and that's the thing. So I'm cruising around with the signage on my car. You know, this, this is who's doing this in my fucking cars because they won't stop, right? They won't stop destroying all my cars. And, and that's, I guess, links to my brother's shit, right? Like, he goes out and does these things and says it's me and there's to a planet. But the planet doesn't ask any questions like maybe the brother's nuts you know like <laughs> I understand. yeah so well craziness so I that's can't, i can't i can't say i could give you advice or answers because it's all way too much way too crazy for me no, no, no. But Just you fuckers should. You, you actually, you, should, you don't need maintain. to give me answers, but you should stand up for what's right. I do try to stand up for what's right. You know what I'm saying? As much as possible. You know? Yeah. Um, not many of those people left. There aren't. They're all fucking like societal sheep. That like you're like, you like, hey, that guy's a bad guy. Go, that guy's a bad person. Everyone go kill him. Okay. Yeah. And you're just like, what the fuck? I mean. Can you think? think? Yeah, if someone walks up to me and says, that guy is a horrible, don't go do this, I'll be like, dude, fuck you, I'm not fucking... <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay, so yeah, so... I know, I'm totally, I've totally sucked your time. giving you everything I can for today. So, so we're looking, I'm guessing, into March or something. I would say, that's probably a safe bet. Um, I mean, really, the engine should be back together very soon. I mean, a matter of days is when we get some. What's it? The days. So what, to get a long block? Yeah. What about the parts come in, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to screw them. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay, so let's say the screws come in the next couple of days and it's ready, and then you and then get time for so get it on theoretically, possibly a week to get it on dyno. I mean, that's not bad. We're looking at mid. February, 
possible. I don't know. I'm just. So you're saying it's possible early March? I, I have no idea. I would say if all goes well, maybe. Yeah. But I'll just I'll I'll, just keep, I'll I'll keep my my mindset around end of March or just something. Keep, yeah, just have an open mind. <laughs> we'll do our best to get the car in here on the subject. Okay. Like I said, I'm working with one technician. He's he, honestly he's awesome, dude. He's he's working above the level of anybody who's here for that. Do you think you're gonna hire more than one? I mean just for your sake. I don't, I don't care. But. I don't think so right now. I think that three would be too many authorized. Two would be would be Well what about me? What about me? Wrench on the cars, Kevin? Well, I, I do. I want to do a, a beer test. I say no. So I drink beers I say and I stand no. on the block and see if it can sustain. No, just joking. We're ultimately looking for one person right now. Okay. I mean, yeah, just recover, get back, get back to where you were. Yeah. We could reduce the schedule down to a much better place. And, you know, we have up and down time, so I mean, we can't go over hiring either because we have some city. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, wish us luck on that. If we get that, that'll help a lot. And then otherwise, we'll just, uh, we'll just have to keep in touch. Keep more info from Colby on the dyno and all that stuff. Okay, and cool. And once I know all that, then I'll try to get it. Oh! Do you know a uh, good uh, coilover company's recommendations? Or? Um, no, I don't. Um, no, I don't. I know we've got a lot of people bring LG stuff and we're not super huge fans of it. Okay. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad. I've had some issues with them in the past. So, I don't know. Okay. Um, I, t I typed in, I just found a list a mile long. Of I, I don't know. I know that they start getting really pricey. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they can start yeah. getting, like, ungodly pricey. You might want to look into Viking. Viking, okay. I haven't heard of them. Just I look haven't. into them. Um... Even just a good set of shocks. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, we're on the mono leave. I could even for a thousand bucks, even for six hundred, get some budget shit coilovers that would. That'd be better than the Leafs. The Leafs aren't terrible, man. They're not horrible. I mean, I drove to the tail of the dragon. What are you looking to use them for? For handling? Handling, yeah. The, the DRM build schemes are not that expensive. Okay. Doug Griffey Motorsports. Okay. DR and Bilstein's. They're Bilstein shocks that he has valve a special way for okay. the C6. Have you heard of, I think, Fortune? Fortune. Okay. Um, There's so many, it's like, I wish. Um, what did, um, I would just get the fucking thing together and see how. It well, goes. yeah, no, no, no. no. I'm talking. So I'm talking later. And all that, I would. I would Google the uh, Doug Motorsport Bilstein shop. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I just, just curious if you have some it's names. Waste, yeah. yeah. And people ran rave about them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not loading you with any more. Yeah. So, and after so. that, if, if, if you know, then, then maybe. You know, I mean, if you really want to get serious, I mean, the advantage to a coil over you can raise and lower it. Sure. Yeah. More. And you can adjust the yeah. camping and all that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with my Eclipse. Yeah. But the DRMs are, are a bitchin' shock that's proven, and you're buying a shock that's way cheaper. Oh, it's not a coilover? It's not a coilover. Oh, no, you want a coilover. Um, I don't know. You can still raise lower your car on the bolts. Well, you can with a yeah. leveling adjuster. Mm -hmm. But. So these things are not bad, dude. They're not, but there's a lot of room for improvement. your car and do road racing and all that, then you might see an advantage on the coilovers. You're a serious yeah. racer. But if you're an average guy like me, you probably don't even fucking know the difference. You're not driving the capable level of a car yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you're just looking for an upgrade, I highly recommend. But then again, I don't know, are you running, does it have active like handling, like the selective ride control stuff? It does, it's not as good as the C7, but it has some, some um, Does it have an adjuster on the console? Yeah. Okay. There's different so modes. And change amounts to anything else you're going to lose all that you're just going to have whatever the fuck they are actually i think i like that better you know i hate that computer shit okay yeah i like i like to fucking dial it in and go i feels good and then i don't know i never i never change it. like i always Stay fucking take traction control the off the race or the, the heaviest you know sporty or whatever yeah mode and they'll be as stiff as they can be yeah and if that's not working for you then upgrade yeah 
All right. All right. So let me let you get back to work. Right, Will Coley mind if I pop in his door for 10 seconds? Uh, no, he won't mind. All right. <laughs> Alright. Where is this door? Oh. Is this Coley's? Hey, you mind if I come in here really quick? Uh, give me a second, Kevin. Okay. I'll come out in a second. Oh. Um, no. I, I should have known better to disturb the busy man. I just wanted to make a joke. So I'm here for the job. Yeah. So you hiring me or what? No. Ah, no. shit, damn. No. <laughs> I like the way to fucking know. <laughs> All right, that's it. I was How just you fucking sorry to. Good, yeah, just dealing with pure fucking insanity. You've been good other than that. I feel you. I saw the card, so I feel you. The witch? Yeah. Like oh that yeah and look at if you want to look at tonight's youtube or youtube i posted okay, the fucking guy kyle almost fucking dude i was playing this i didn't have my seatbelt i'm yeah. fucking dude i'm just sitting there if i'm going through the intersection i stop sign with a blink of uh, flashing yeah i'm fucking this car just doesn't even stop and i just go oh shit i hit the brakes and if i didn't and he just Flies by me and skids and plows into the fucking house. Really? Yeah, it's like, fucking crazy. Uh, it's it's on like, YouTube. Yeah, it's like I'll YouTube. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's YouTube. I'll check it out tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's check out the fucking car. Is this my guy? Fucking the uh, covers off. Where are the covers though? It's been a while, I haven't seen you in age. Oh, look at that coffee spill. Eleanor! There's my cover. I don't know why it's off, but. Okay. Get out of here. Fucking crazy. Fucking people. Okay. gonna do some more jokey Marking some jokey things with them but then we actually got in some deep some deep convo here um so okay so some deep convo like like we never i'm usually in there like in and out and they're they're going a million miles per hour so okay so that's it um we're leaving, I guess we'll head out. I don't even know where I'm going, fucking Long Beach first, maybe Torrance. But like I was telling Jake, I'm gonna get the flag from the angry, like, you ruined our lives! You ruined our lives by going to Long Beach! And, um, you're gonna be like, dude, why do you fucking care and how do you know me, right? And that's the fucking point. Okay, and so that's why I can't walk into a place without all this baggage or whatever because every minute of my life is something to sort of try to make me look crazy and um, you're imagining it, right? And you're not allowed here and you're not allowed there and you're like, what's going on? Is there going to be an actual dialogue about the situation? Like, you just, you turn 29 and there's a plan of people who want you dead for no reason, right? Okay, so, and you're not allowed to say anything, or it gets worse. And that is very fucking strange. Okay, that's unheard of. 
Okay, so we're leaving American Heritage. I'm going to head out to Long Beach direction here. Um, and try to chill out and rest my brain. And you know what happens. More and more people start going ballistic on me. We're trying to live my life no matter where I am or why. And nobody wants to really talk about it or admit to it. And it's very fucking strange. And everyone's mad about what I don't know. And you start figuring things out, but you're not allowed to tell anyone. And okay, so the car, back to the car. The car is, we're sort of back in slow-mo, right? But it is getting there slowly. Looks like they're, um, okay, so, um, all right, so, that's it, I'm kind of tired, we've been, we were, we were gabbing for a while there, I'm fucking, wow, and I hate the fact that I have to fucking go into my, like, that personal level of insanity. But you have to, right? You have to... You're forced into that position. Does that make sense? You're forced into the position where... Because nobody thinks this is worldwide, mobbing since five years old is wrong or whatever what you want to call it, gang stalking, mobbing, government operations. Uh, it, we don't know why these people have a fucking problem with me. Um, existing, and it's coming from stranger after stranger, okay, just random people, he's doing this to me, he's doing that, you just walk in a room, some random stranger, he won't leave me alone, this and that, what is fucking going on? Okay, um, you're not allowed here, you're not allowed there, the huge part of the black community, why, we've always seen the black community, hunting me since kissing a black girl five we don't understand what's going on why is there no dialogue about anything okay so and you don't know any of them right it's like i sort of mentioned skylar like saying you could apply it to everyone some random girl stalking you and hunting you and saying he won't leave me alone or something like that and it's like dude and most of them you don't even talk to they're just random i didn't talk to them i didn't say anything they just make up stories how i won't i'm in love with them or Right? I mean, I got probably a hundred internet conversations this week of random fake accounts saying I love them. And okay, you're like, who the fuck are you, right? Um, or they're posing as porn stars or whatever. And it just doesn't matter. Just the next one comes after you, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. Okay, so that in between the car. And it was a little, little upsetting that nobody really understands the ramifications or they do understand it of what's really going on here, but they don't say it. They sort of try to make it look like you're too sensitive, okay? Um, and that's, I feel, well it is a shitty thing to do to someone, right? It's like to make them think that they are crazy or think differently or things like that. Okay, so, I mean look at my car and that's not normal. Okay, what's being done to my car, all my cars. for. 24 years at my this location or whatever. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end it here. So we did a little. Uh, surprise, uh, a surprise visit, a little a surprise biz, visit to American Heritage Performance. I kind of, they're getting busy, they're undermanned, they're a little unresponsive, I'm curious, I got nothing to do. Gives me something to do, come out this way, like I was saying to, to Jake there. You know, just fucking, I'll start mentioning names now because I'm just so fucking sick of this shit. But, um... The flack I get from going to fucking Long Beach from strangers, this shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be, who cares? They shouldn't know who I am. It shouldn't be the end of the world. And then, whether it be Torrance or Hermosa or whatever. And it's always, they're always making some random stranger, making it about them and just planning people. Okay, and you just keep 
well, what's going on? And there's no answer to the question, like, like just spit in your face, right? Okay, so, um, okay, so that's it.